today I'm driving around for work. I had to go pick stuff up. And I saw a business that's a big old CBD sign on it. They sell CBD there. And then just outside of it is an eight foot plywood bong that's just <laughs> spray painted on it. Just says sold here. <laughs> It's like, that's such great marketing. It's just, <laughs> you don't say that you got paraphernalia. You just gave them a big picture. Just like, we what you're sell looking stuff for. here. <laughs> it's sold here. You figure it out. <laughs> just an eight foot bong. <laughs> sold here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Judgies, a podcast where we read internet stories and judge them and laugh about them. My name is Joshua. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And, and we, we are The, the Judgies. Judgies. We're back, baby. Took a brief hiatus. Not for you guys, but for us. <laughs> Just a quick eight and a half month break as we're having some real, like, difference in uh, creative uh, opinions we didn't know where we wanted the podcast to go they don't even listen to my opinion because i'm a woman What's up? so <laughs> they actually like kicked a... me off the podcast you guys it's true we kicked her off uh, we got a soundboard for one episode you probably didn't notice it <laughs> but she's back now we ran out of sound bites to use <laughs> <laughs> we were in contract disputes with our third member <laughs> <sighs> well we got some good news we have our first Apple podcast review. All right, let's let's take a read at this. Five stars. Five star review. Somebody likes our podcast. Here's the thing. I don't think this is a biased a biased review at all. It's this not because of anything I said, but our first five star review. Title of the review Free the Fedora. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're reading titles? <laughs> On this review, uh, it was submitted by listener OG EID 21. Wow, Christian has such a nice and soothing voice. I can't wait to meet him in person. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you in person either. <laughs> what a good, nice, wholesome comment. <laughs> five stars, too. Just Great. so you guys know, if you leave us five stars, we'll read your review. <laughs> Crazy that he just lied to us, though. That's pretty rude. About what? Can't wait to meet you in person? I don't think that was a lie. <laughs> it was the fedora part. That was the lie. <laughs> free, the, free the fedora. <laughs> That's not a lie either. I have, okay, I have put the fedora away since COVID started. I'm now growing out my COVID mullet. Oh, to you fill guys. the void, <laughs> to fill the void of the fedora, I'm growing a mole instead. But should I post a picture of his little ponytail on Instagram? Oh yeah, please right. drag me. Maybe I, drag wait, me, queen. We'll take one afterwards. We'll both have our COVID ponytails up. <laughs> Raise your eyebrows again. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, me, me with the ponytail. Wait, let me get another one. It wasn't a good angle. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't flexing in that one. <laughs> Let me get a pump on. Let me get a pump on. All right, Richard. It's Richard's turn to read this week. You girl is dropping everything over here. Hold on. Here, you hold that. Take that pen. Okay. I got it together, you guys. I promise. All right. Am I the asshole for asking what my friend sees in his wife? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he ain't. Okay, so when you said you feel like I wrote this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> you guys, Josh wrote this one, and he's trying to play it slick like he didn't. I know you did. Although I stand strong in my beliefs, my friends told me that what I did was not okay, and I think now I feel conflicted, so I'm making this post. It's never a good sign if literally everybody tells you what you did was bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong, though, and you'll see why. <laughs> okay, I know everybody else told me I was wrong. But I'm not. But I don't think I am. <laughs> My friend is very, very good looking. He met his wife before he met me around seven, 
years ago through school or something. And she's a mess. <laughs> I mean, she's not the ugliest, but she's really tiny and kind of pudgy. She's got an acne problem, which I really don't understand since she's 27. She also has a double chin when she speaks, which isn't the worst. I'm offended by all of this. <laughs> this person's attacking me. But compared to my friend, who is so good looking, she's basically like a two. The only thing I can give her is that she's kind of funny. And she's book smart. <laughs> and she's got an okay job, I guess. But that's it. All the intangibles are there. I've tried my hardest to hint to my friend that he's young. He's only 25. He can find someone else. <clears throat> Even I'm open to dating him. I mean, he's gorgeous, mm -hmm. but he's never caught any hints. It's like he's under a spell. Jo you can't convince me you didn't write Pussy this. Pussy too bomb. <laughs> Pussy too bomb. His wife is pregnant at the moment, which is frustrating because I haven't seen him in a while due to the virus. And we used to call at least semi-regularly, but now he can't because she makes him wait on her hand and foot. And he's lovesick for some reason. What, like some pregnant lady? You fucking Ugh. simping for his pregnant wife? Ugh. Finally, got to video call him the other day after weeks and he looked really tired, but happy and gorgeous as ever. <laughs> <laughs> she came to say hi and she's really let herself go big fan of the devil's standard of like when a girl when when a guy tells a girl that she looks tired it's because she doesn't look good but when a girl tells a guy that she looks tired he also looks gorgeous i couldn't even look at i couldn't even look straight at her without grimacing she was a mess <laughs> i was throwing up in my mouth she is so gross when she left the room all he talked about was her and baby this and baby that and <laughs> She this and she that and she's glowing and shit. It's like we see two different this people. This so mad that this dude's having a baby. <laughs> Why are you talking about your fucking kid, dude? I haven't been able to talk to you in months. You just want to tell me about your fucking kid? Fast forward five years down the line. Yeah, like my kid, like he's kicking a ball for the first time and like he's going around. And he's like telling everybody that he wants to grow up and be just like his daddy when he grows up. Ugh, just let me fuck you. I don't care about your fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I couldn't take it anymore and asked exactly what he sees in her. He was like, what do you mean? So I gave him some examples that I put above. Instead of talking to me like an adult, he went really silent. And when I was like, what is it? And he says, do you mean that? And I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he said, I'm way too tired for this. And then he suddenly hung up on me, and before I even had space to breathe, blocked me everywhere? I really do not understand what I said wrong. I really don't- I really do want to know what he sees in her. They don't even have the same interests. My friends- <laughs> My friends are since then hounding me about how I could say that, and everyone I talk to seems to be getting mad at me. I don't think I am, but am I the asshole? I really don't want to lose him over something to do with her. So should I just apologize? This, there's, don't apologize. This, this, never gone contact. too far. <laughs> never contact again. There's no, even if you do apologize, <clears throat> that relationship is done. You fucked up, buddy. Guys, I have a theory. I have a working theory. About a paragraph back, she says, she mentions, I can't even look at her without grimacing. Is it maybe because this dude is dating Grimace from McDonald Land? Short, pudgy, probably has acne. <laughs> Double chin when he talks. I mean, he wears that mask constantly. That's hey, a wait. hamburger. That's oh, the... damn. Okay. Grimace kind of fine, though. <laughs> Grimace do kind of be hot. <laughs> this person is insane. Yeah. This person uh, is a sociopath. Doesn't understand human emotions. Narcissist. Like, absolutely. Just doesn't understand, like, why is this person, like, happy to be having a child? What? You only got her pregnant. Why do you think you have to stay with her just because you got her pregnant? I was I was really expecting when she said, um, and now, like, his wife's, pr his wife's pregnant. That could have been me. I could have been pregnant. <laughs> I could have been having his kids. Our kids would have been way hotter. Like, you can't tell me you want to have kids with an uggo, because if you taint an eight with a two, you're going to have fucking fours, dude. <laughs> it's simple math. I'm a five, me? and eight and a five make a six 
and a half fucking easy. <laughs> so one of the top comments says, I couldn't get past, I'd be open to dating him. Someone get this woman a drink of water because she is thirsty. thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Everything became, if she hadn't put that sentence in there. Right, we would we would have been able to speculate that that's why she was upset. It changes it a little bit when you admit. To, yeah, just straight I want to date him. <laughs> I mean, I'd even be open to fucking him. Like he's so hot. I heard she, his wife doesn't suck his pee pee. I would totally be <laughs> down to do that for him. Good on this guy though for just like cutting a toxic friend out of his life. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's a lot of people who wouldn't do that for him being normal. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You're right. There are a lot of people that wouldn't be able to. They'd just be like, "That's weird. I guess I'll never talk to my wife about this." But sometimes it's hard to cut people out of your life once you start a podcast with them. Would you tell her if this was your wife and your friend was like, "Hey, your wife's fucking ugly. Leave her." Would you tell her? Yes, because here's the thing. Not at all. I wouldn't. I would be so pissed at both of you. Wait, I would tell her that like. You would... I'm no longer friends with this person because she was talking shit about you. Well, then I you wouldn't... have to tell her what she said. I mean, if it comes to that, whatever. But, like, uh, you can't just, like, stop talking to somebody and just be like, hey, whatever happened to them? Just be like, oh, no. <laughs> we, just, we just fell out. But, like, this person, the person who posted this, there's no way that this guy and his wife haven't had a conversation specifically about this person before. Oh, absolutely. Like, there's no way she hasn't been an issue. So, like, it's probably just as, it's probably so easy for him to just be like, yeah, fucking Jennifer. Yeah, she's out. Like, you were right. Or, like, all the flags were there. We just didn't pay attention to them. Like, bye. You're so proud of yourself thinking you could do that. How dare you? This person's in the right, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to know why? She's just looking out for her bro, dude. She's, yeah, she's just fucking homies over hoes, all right? She's, she's looking the out op- for a fucking homie. <laughs> she's the opposite of cock blocking right now. <laughs> exactly. She's trying to get this dude fucking laid by at least a fucking six is all I'm saying, dude. She's a goddamn two. This lady's a saint, to be honest. <laughs> she's only looking out for her friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did the OP... User's name be St. Valentine because she's a goddamn matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I only said that that you wrote this because you're because I'm ugly and not good enough for a Christian, and I feel like you would agree with that. I would only agree that you're not good enough for Christian, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm cute though. <laughs> you guys couldn't see it or hear it, but she did a little hair flip. And... <laughs> I'm always flipping my hair. Okay. This is only tangentially related, but I just started watching Love Island season six today <clears throat> after a brief hiatus from the Love Island series. And there's this one girl on there who's super into Disney. And she's like, she comes in and she's like, I just want to find my Aladdin. And uh, she's like, I fancy myself Princess Jasmine. I just want to find myself in Aladdin. And she goes in and she gets matched with this dude who's like Middle Eastern descent, like dark blonde, like dark brown hair like looks like if you had to like peg an aladdin you're like oh she fucking got it but he's short <laughs> like he's the same height as her and aladdin she's, short and she's like i normally go for like tall dark and handsome yeah and he's like well i've got two of those <laughs> and she's like yeah you're not really my type so this white dude starts talking to her white blonde hair blue eyes he's a fucking when his dad dies he's gonna be like the duke of some land or some bullshit like that in wales and uh that's a lie. You know that's a lie. No, no, it was, it's the uh, truth. It's English. It's probably fucking true. <laughs> He's going to be the Duke of a one by one meter square in Wales somewhere. No, He's the, 82nd in line to the throne. He's got a huge, like, dong farm. Oh, okay. Like, huge farm. Uh, but he's blonde hair, blue eyes. And she goes, she's like, he's like trying to flirt with her. And she's like kind of shutting him down. And she just goes, you look like John Smith from Pocahontas. And he's like. <laughs> literally who the fuck is john smith from pocahontas <laughs> and i was like that's a diss dude like and he's like she's like yeah and he's like is that a good thing and she's like yeah and it's like no that's the dude who fucking comes in and colonizes and fucking kills everybody mm-hmm. like yeah he fucks pocahontas in the movie but like <laughs> it's really funny how she's like i'm looking for my aladdin and she finds a fucking john smith there i just saw like a series of tiktoks the other day this woman decorates her house like each room in her house is a different disney theme 
like her living room is Lilo and Stitch and like Little Mermaid, like bathroom. ocean shit. And then her bathroom is Alice in Wonderland. Like she goes all out. Her bedroom Cinderella. More like the Queen of Farts. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Did that actually get you? Or are you faking that yeah, laugh? I, just, I can't tell. I was just faking. Look laugh. at that Cheshire smile over there. <laughs> I know. That's why I couldn't tell I mean, he's faking it. There was a real joy in it. But, but also, I, boo. I, I paid, I <laughs> Excuse you. Laugh. Not a good joke, Josh. You didn't even recognize that joke. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was going to let it slide and just not shame you for it, but then you made the eyebrows like, uh, you hear my joke? And I had to shame you. Okay. Boo. I'm judging you. But um, the whole time, like, I'm just cringing. Like, it's very detailed and it it looks really good, but at the same time, it's like, it's fucking Disney. You're a grown-ass adult woman. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, she made her own shit, and, like, it was, she's very talented. Like, she did a very good job. It looks authentic. But that's your house. <laughs> that's your whole that's house. That's, like, one room. Like, you Not, should do one room like that. I guess. I wouldn't even do that. Like but you should have, like, get it, I guess. Sec- sections of the room for, like, Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I guess, dude. I don't know. It was just, it was too much. Well, your supernatural kitchen is coming along <laughs> next month, right? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? Yep. Am I am I gonna read the title? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> am I gonna sense. read the title? I did, did I read the last one? I don't even yeah, remember. Am okay. I gonna read the title? I don't know. Did I accidentally read the title? <laughs> Oopsies. All right. Fuck you guys. I'm not gonna read it then. Call me Jay Z because you know I got that title. I don't get it. It's bad. <laughs> you don't need to get it. Okay. Title the streaming service. Ah, title. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad joke, Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to leave it in, though. Don't cut it out. Okay. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> I'll leave in my jokes. <laughs> oh, please don't make me leave just in my kidding. jokes. <laughs> cut it. No. It's please. getting cut. No. I'm, you just said I'm the boss. It's getting cut. <gasps> please, sir. <laughs> just one more pun. <laughs> okay. Today I fucked up by making my dad punch a stripper in GTA and tearfully ask God for forgiveness in front of my entire family. This was a this was a listener submitted post as well, right? I don't know. You got it submitted to you, so <laughs> sure was Ricky. That sure was a listener submitted post. Oh, great! <laughs> so if you want your story that you find read on the podcast, email us in or DM us on Instagram or Twitter. And we'll read your stories on the pod if we think they're funny enough. I was about to say, <clears throat> if if they're good enough, we might not. Do you want to make up, this is a male who sent this in, do you want to make up an anonymized name for a male who sent this in? Um, his like, what's name a really generic, is... What's a really generic male name? Mm. What about like... William? Bill? Yeah, know. that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him Bill for short. Sure. All right. <laughs> When I was young, my brothers and I snuck a copy of San Andreas into the house. For those of you that don't know, uh, Grand Theft Auto. We spent days holed up in our basement, taking turns playing. And down there, my parents didn't bother us too much. In order to get tons of money for guns, we had yet to figure out my parents' dial-up password, so cheats weren't a thing for us yet. We would go to the strip club and stand on the stage, absorbing the money dudes threw at women, and just let the game sit for 10 to 20 minutes. How did he find out Excellent. how to do that strat without going to GameFAQs.com? Dude, he's got this a big smart. old fucking brain. Dude, this dude's he, big he's brain. He's the one that posted that on GameFAQs. <laughs> he's he's oh the original God. author. <laughs> we had to be careful, though, because sometimes the strippers would do a move and bump into CJ, and the bouncers would shoot the place up. <laughs> One day while I was playing, my mom yelled down to the basement at us to get us ready. We're going to Pizza Hut. At a stroke of genius, I drove to the GTA strip club, got on the stage, and then turned the TV off, and we left. This it was the best heist of the century. Can I just say, as a kid who played GTA, this is just such a fucking nostalgia trip of like your parents yelling down that you're going to Pizza Hut and being excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> like the shittiest. Pizza Hut Buffet! The shittiest chain restaurant in the world, and you're like, hang on, let me get some money from these strippers in GTA while I go to Pizza Hut. So they're going to Pizza Hut. He leaves the TV 
He turns the TV off, but the game's collecting money. It was the best heist of the century. My dad, however, was at church at this time, practicing for a gospel concert he was singing in. He always filmed the practices so he could take notes at home upon playback, and this time was no different. While my mom and brothers and I were still at the hut, (laughs) he arrived at home and unplugged his camcorder into the VCR. We had just one VCR, and it was connected to the basement TV. Back at the hut, my mom gets a phone call. She puts her napkin down and slowly looks around the table at us and says, Okay a few times into the phone in this really calculating specific way that she always did when she knew us kids were in trouble before we did. (laughs) Naturally, it was at this point that we kids knew we were in trouble. For what, though? We didn't know. After a very quiet minivan ride, we got home and my mom says, boys, why don't we go down to the basement? Your dad wants to show you his gospel practice downstairs. (laughs) If that ain't code for the worst thing in the world. It was then at this point that we knew why we were in trouble. So we drag our feet down the stairs, and lo and behold, my dad is sitting on the couch, TV on, a strippy's po- a stripper's polygonal titties swinging swiftly back and forth yeah. on screen to end yes. Vogue's My Lovin' with CJ standing <laughs> mere inches away, collecting money. Let's go. <laughs> my dad starts in. Boys, I don't even know where to begin. This PlayStation was a blessing to you for Christmas, and this is how you repay us? (laughs) By breaking our trust? God gifted you with this miracle of technology, and you put on polygonal titties. You blaspheme like this? (laughs) He's holding the controller up now, gesticulating with it. Here I am, practicing to bring glory to God. and But he was cut off as he inadvertently squeezed the controller, causing CJ to punch the stripper. No. My entire family stands in silence, watching together as the bouncers in the strip club shoot the place up for what seems like an eternity. (laughs) After the shooting stops and CJ appears in front of the hospital, I look back and see my mom silently weeping into her hand. I look at my dad as a single tear rolls down his cheek and he prays underneath his breath. (laughs) After another eternity of silence without a word, my dad bends down, disconnects the PlayStation, walks back to the family computer, disconnects it, goes to his car and drives away. What the fuck? (laughs) Back to church. For the next years later, still haven't seen him. (laughs) For the next four months, he kept the PS2 and the PC locked in his office at work. It was one of my favorite memories of growing up. I miss my brothers. What's left out of the story is that their dad works at a strip club as a bouncer. (laughs) (laughs) The reason the dad was so mad is he accidentally recorded over his solo... And that's why he was, he really was mad. accidentally recording CJ collecting money in front of strippers instead of him singing, uh, Our Lord is an awesome Lord. Our God is an, an awesome, awesome God. God. Yeah. Why do you have to watch back gospel practice? <laughs> Dude. Are you not swaying and clapping them... at the right rate? He's got to hit them notes right. He was singing for it. Like, I get he that, was the but lead. like. All right, dude. Do you really need to watch that back? Uh, why not just, like, you... audio record that? That's a good point, actually. You don't need to have a VHS player to watch back a goddamn no, that's gospel a very, That's tape. a very good point. <laughs> did, this, did this ever happen to you when you were kids with, like, video games where back in the early days, your parents would walk in? I have a vivid memory of a parent, my parent walking in and thinking we we were watching TV, like, live TV. And I was just like, it's like, what is that? And it's like, it's a video game. He's like, this is a video game. It's, it's like, so realistic. And it's like back in the day when just like TVs were shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I was like, it makes sense now, but it's like, how did you ever think? <laughs> Especially going back and seeing what video games look like. It's like, how did you ever think that was fucking like a movie or something? Now you play like Jack and Daxter on an HGTV and you're like, you thought that was real? Yeah. <laughs> but back then, yeah, you're like, you're playing fucking... <clears throat> Nintendo 64, 007, Goldeneye, and you're like, wow, this odd job guy really looks like he's wearing a hat. <laughs> There's literally 
16 triangles on the screen. <laughs> and you're just like, oh my god! You can make out all of his features! <laughs> it's a body! I don't know what game that is, so... Um... You don't know what GoldenEye is? Mm-mm. That's really crazy, actually. James Bond, 007, GoldenEye. Very, very popular. You know the movie, right? I mean, I know of the movie. I've never seen it. Yeah, I was either. never really into the I've James Bond movie, series. But... Shit. We're is coming this out our hot take? We're coming out as an anti-Bond. I'm more of a Pierce Brosnan truther. I don't know about you guys, but George Clooney can eat my ass. <laughs> was I George mean... Wait, was George Clooney Bond? I don't think so. No, who's the guy who does the... Sean Connery. I'm more of a Pierce Brosnan truther. Sean Connery can eat my ass. Mm, yes. Sorry. Sean Connery can eat my ash. That's pretty good in Sean Connery. <sighs> what an insane... No one out pizzas the hut. No one out pizzas the hut. That that really was just such a nostalgic... Like, <laughs> yeah, just like... I bet he turned in his AR points I was just for a free say, personal fan. I was just going to say like, he got his fucking readers... Reader's coupon. <laughs> oh, his well, he probably forgot it at home, and his mom was probably yelling at him. <laughs> That's where my memory takes me back to. Imagine turning around after watching a video game, and your mom's silently weeping into a hand. <laughs> <laughs> the picture he painted, the single, the single dad tear. <laughs> I just had a memory zip zap zoop right back into my old noggin. There was one time, me and my brother have always played games. There's one game series called Dynasty Warriors, where it focuses on um, feudal China around, like, what, like, 400 AD? And it's uh, all fighting and, like, killing people. So the whole point of the game is, like, oh, one warrior can kill a thousand peons or whatever. And, like, that's the whole thing. We had our uh, reverend come over one day. I don't know why. Um, I was too young to know why. <clears throat> and we had like a similar thing where we had a little rec room where like our parents really didn't go in, so we had all of our games set up. Wait, did I write this story? <laughs> and our reverend comes over, and and he's like, "Hey, boys, you want to watch this videotape of me singing?" <laughs> <laughs> he comes over and he's like, "I don't, remember, I don't remember if it was me or my brother, but we were like." Reverend Dykstra, like, you gotta watch us play this game. And we just sat there and played Dynasty Warriors in front of him. We were like, yeah, so you just, like, kill, like, 100,000 people per match. And then afterwards, you just do it again. <laughs> and him being an adult, having to just be, like, cool, cool, dude. Like, maybe don't talk about killing people in front of your fucking church pastor, you dumbass. <laughs> and then I remember, I think it was that same year, me and my brother play a game called Diablo 2, where you go and kill diablo who is like the devil and my brother wrote on like a it was like a what do you wish for in the new year thing and you put it on a post-it and you're supposed to post it at the front of the church my brother wrote like to slay all demons in hell or something like <laughs> hell that and put it up on the front your pastor is like ah, i taught him right <laughs> good lord uh, oh. i love church <laughs> You ready for a break? No one out pizzas the church. <laughs> yeah, let's hit a break. Thanks. I gotta pee. Oh, this is where Christian tries to says, oh, I've got a cue. He literally I, says that shit to me all the time. I would never say that. Every I time I say I jokes. have to pee, <laughs> I got a cue. Can Fuck just, you. Can I just say I started that joke? I didn't know we had a, a hipster amongst us. <laughs> oh, do you also enjoy PBR? Fucking hipster. Well, you grown out shit. your hair and got a mustache? Okay, did you get bye. some high top? Did you get some high top chucks earlier? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Our pod is an awesome pod, it is, <laughs> recorded from Joshua's, with wisdom, laughter, and love. Our pod is an awesome pod, it is, <laughs> recorded from Joshua's, with wisdom, laughter, and love. Our pod is an awesome pod. Get it, Ricky? You got it? Harm or not? Oh, I'm up here. Can you meet me up here? No, I can't. <laughs> You're above me. <laughs> I can't match shows. I literally just told you that. Welcome back. And to the only Christian back. on a podcast. Christian Kleckner. <laughs> I think I'm literally the only Christian that's ever recorded a podcast. No, because Christian's a white guy's name. <laughs> no. It's my name. 
So I think I'm the only one that's ever done this. That's fair. Christian. Name me one other podcast that's done it. Chrissy. That's what I thought. Christian. Yeah. You got a circle jerk for us? Yeah, I got a, I got a little bit of something. Um, Over the last week or so. Let's give us something <laughs> to circle jerk. <laughs> That one's too close, dude. We're going to get fucking copyright claimed and shit now. Can you meet me down here? Give me something to circle church. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Is this close enough? <laughs> All right. So over the last last couple weeks, Ricky's been working extra late hours. It's been rough, I've guys. been trapped at home just going from editing a podcast and to... Getting so disgusted by the sound of Josh's voice, I have to take forty-five minute breaks to meditate. And in that time, I've started writing haikus. Um, figured I'd share a couple on the podcast here. Hopefully, okay. you guys really appreciate them. Can we just preface this with we've been together for ten years and he's never written me poetry, but all of a sudden he's thinking about Josh all the time and has to get all his thoughts out on poets. Poetry. It's for the pot, Erica. I gotta write it. Uh huh. Oh, also, sorry to interrupt. Can we also talk about how um there was a Snapchat group phone call today, some video chat, mm-hmm. and I on my way home from work get on this group chat. Josh was naked. <laughs> yeah. Josh was just naked, and it's just weird. Just with the boy. Only my face was in frame. Okay, okay, but still. And then I have to say, well, get dressed, I'm coming home. Well, the bit I was doing was I was in the shower when I called, and I had a shower beer, and then I had a carrot in my hand. I was like, yep, getting ready for the shower, got a shower beer and a carrot. And then we just so talked. you had to get truly, completely naked for that bit? You couldn't just take your shirt off? I mean, I was also going to get in the shower, but then we just talked for like 45 minutes and I was naked and it was fine. And then you got on and I was like, I don't know why I feel weird. <laughs> so then I was like, uh, well, get dressed. I'm coming home. Like, get out of my house. Don't be naked in my house. And then, you're, then you like are walking through your kitchen. Oh, you're in your own house. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess you can be naked there. <laughs> okay. Tell us your poets, your poetry. It's more than just poetry. It's haikus. It's art. The easiest form of poetry. Go on. Should I start with ones about us or about the podcast itself? About wait, you did write me poetry? Maybe. Oh, now this I feel is, like an asshole. This is all it took. We'll make you feel bad. Wait. Here's my. We we'll make you feel bad. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <Wait. All right. laughs> is that the first line? It is hot in here. Oh, wait, it's just Ricky. Oh, my God. Wait, AC not on. (laughs) (laughs) So, wait, I'm not hot? Hold on. (laughs) Next one. (laughs) Classic Christian complaining about the temperature of the room. And and negging his wife. I'm literally dying over here. Yeah, you're pretty sweaty. Can we remind people what a haiku is? Oh, yeah. For people that don't know, a haiku is a form of poetry. Where it's five syllables, followed by seven syllables, followed by five more syllables. So uh, feel free to clap along at home <laughs> to make sure I counted it right. <laughs> I did try to put these all through a um, haiku syllable counter to make sure I didn't <laughs> embarrass myself. But if you I catch that... him slipping, please let us know. I do that too. It's called reading <laughs> and counting. <laughs> you never have words where you're just like... Syllable, uh, syllable, <laughs> syllable, and then you're just like one. It's never one on <laughs> syllable. <laughs> Didn't we determine that Erica has more yeah, Eric... syllables than Christian? Yeah, that don't make sense. It's either. one syllable per vowel. Oh, no, unless it's like two vowels next to each other, <laughs> which is why "y" is sometimes a vowel because in "fly" there's one vowel and a syllable, but in something like well, "silly" works too, but like. Um, let me think of one that I can think. What's a word with Y? Syllable? Yes. <laughs> no, because S-Y-L, the Y is acting as a vowel. Um. So it had to be a part where it's like, um, like, um, I can't think of one, guys. But that's why um, Y is sometimes a vowel and sometimes not. Because it's sometimes, it 
a vowel can be defined as being something that exists solely saying? to create a syllable. Saying. Saying, right. Because the A is acting as the vowel. The Y is not acting as the vowel. And then the ING, the I is acting as the vowel. I don't care about this one bit. Also, <laughs> I haven't been able to put... There's a car alarm going off. And I've <laughs> been so zoned in on that. Just like, I better not fucking hear this in the recording. Here's my next one, guys. Um, Give me a couple snaps if you enjoy it. <laughs> Joshua, not funny. <laughs> in search of a new co-host. Send applications. <laughs> the walnut gallery goes wild. <laughs> Quiet, dim, dank room. Questioning why I'm here. Oh, shitty podcast. <laughs> I'm really impressed that you actually wrote haikus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. So, sometimes sometimes you just have too much free time, you know? <laughs> Hours of editing. Constant yelling. Compress. Cut. No ice. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the ice. The ice always comes in and <laughs> ruins the bod. Old soul for my age. Love is unreciprocated. Stupid fucking bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> that, Those that are all like highlights of like stories we've written. We've written. Yeah, these are... Um... Oh, I thought that was directed towards me. I was <laughs> no. like, hold not... on, we need to talk about this. The first three were about... Um, the actual recording of a podcast. I'm sorry. First, they're about the recording of a podcast. It's the room we're in. My co-host. These next three were mostly about editing and um, the process of the stories we're finding. So, here's my last one. I hope you. I hope you guys enjoy this. Communication non-existent between us. Is this a red flag? <laughs> very good, very good. Communication, five syllable word. Right? Yeah. Very good. Thank you. You know what? Can I just sum it all up? Christian writes poems. They are good and fun. Sorry. They are very good and fun. I love this podcast. Aw. Yours is way more positive than mine. <laughs> well, I wrote that before you read all your fucking negative ones. <laughs> <laughs> It's really quick. When did you write this? <laughs> That's three seconds. <laughs> that took me three and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Our our next segment, no stupid haikus. Uh... <laughs> Send us your haiku. Let's let's hear a haiku from you. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. I need your phone for my last one. Um there you go. It is really hot in here. It is, yeah. Well, we spent so long warming up, and yeah. now we have warmed up. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> is it going to be awkward if I record the podcast shirtless? Christian, always insane that you have no fucking body hair. Yeah. I was like, did you shave your fucking stomach? Because, <laughs> like... I oh, mean, are we I'm just going to dunk hairy, on me? Like... Did you send me two? Yes. Oh, okay. I was, like, trying to find the one on his... All right, let's get into the last story, Richard. The last one. Today I fucked up by washing my butt at my boyfriend's place. <laughs> you know it's going to be popular with Christian. <laughs> my boyfriend and I have been dating for about six months and absolutely do not discuss bathroom habits. Nothing. So I can't share this horrible fuck up with him. So I'm telling it to you nasty people. <laughs> <laughs> We've been quarantining together at his place for about a month, and it's been really great. Tonight, I just got finished with a run and decided, literally... <laughs> decided to have the runs. Been there, sister. <laughs> Tonight, I just finished with a run and decided to take a hot, steamy shower. But first, I had to empty the tank. But first, I had to empty the tank. Runners will know the feeling. After I hop in the shower and do my thing. Now... I don't know how you people wash your butt, but here's how I do it. I get the washcloth, nice and sudsy, wipe down all my crevices, and then lean forward, facing opposite the shower head, spread the cheeks, let the water pressure get in there. Well, 
I must have been really relaxed because next thing I know, there's poop on the bottom of the bathtub. <laughs> like a decent sized log. <laughs> I didn't even feel it coming out. I am horrified and kind of just stare at it for a few seconds, wondering how this just escaped me. I quickly lean out of the shower and grab some toilet paper. And guess what? The poop slithered down towards the drain. Now I have the poop stuck in the water. Now I have the poop stuck in the water stream and only being held up by the drain. So without thinking, I try to grab it only for it to be smashed down and liquefied even further. Fuck! (laughs) I turn the water off and grab a new piece of TP. I tried wiping the inside of the drain, but it just made it even worse. Now I add wet TP to the mix of things. I unscrew the drain cap and let it run in the sink. (laughs) What the fuck? Wait, what? It's in the sink. She took the the drain cap out and let it rinse off in the sink. Okay. I unscrew the drain cap and let it run in the sink, only for even smaller pieces of poop to come out and get stuck in that drain. (laughs) She got some dense ass shit. I'm so confused. There's so much shit, but it also just instantly melted the moment she tried to touch it. I repeat the process and finally get the drain, the sink drain clean. Ten minutes pass and my boyfriend is still wondering why I'm in the bathroom, even though the water is shut off. Back to the bathroom. Back to the bathtub drain. I keep uh, wiping and just keep getting more poop. Does he poop in the shower too? (laughs) Imagine the smell. (laughs) Hot, steamy shit. Fuck. Why would you turn the water off? I would be yeah, running fine. the water the whole time. Oh, for sure. Absolutely water would on. be on. Yes. You waffle stomp that bitch. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking this whole time is at this point, just fucking send her home. <laughs> go home, poo. All the drains go to the same place anyway. Uh-huh. All drains go to heaven, as I always like to say. I'm crying. Does he poop in there, too? <laughs> There is no way this is just for me. (laughs) He had some cleaner under the sink. So I sprayed the living shit out of the drain and hoped it was fine. It doesn't stop there. All of that TP I was using. Yeah, I was tossing it into the toilet. Oh. When I finally got my drain situation under control, I flushed the toilet only for it to be clogged with so much toilet paper and he doesn't have a plunger. What the fuck? <laughs> it's because he's shitting in the shower. He doesn't need a plunger. Dude, oh, you're God. right. <laughs> what grown adult doesn't have a fucking plunger? Men living alone. <laughs> That's, That's the person that absolutely should have one. Josh, do you have a plunger? I've got two. Okay. One in each bathroom. They were here when I bought the house. (laughs) So are ours. So now I've been in this bathroom for a solid 40 minutes and need to explain to my boyfriend that I clogged his toilet, but not from massive shits, but from the toilet paper because I pooped in his shower. (laughs) I just realized I don't have a plunger. I have two toilet scrubbers. (laughs) We've got an extra one. We know what you're getting for Christmas. (laughs) (sighs) Oh. Well, I had to say something, so I left the bathroom red as a lobster, and I explained I accidentally flushed a tampon and clogged the toilet, so I need to run to the pharmacy to purchase a plunger. He believed me. Guys are so dumb and women are so smart. (laughs) Taking new butt washing suggestions now. (laughs) All right. Theory. Poop before the shower, right? Well, I think the idea is here is he didn't know she had to poop. No, she did poop before the shower. Oh, Oh, they're still just... Poop Wipe after, after pooping. <laughs> Here's my theory. Here's my working theory. The poop was there before she got in the shower. And she just wasn't paying attention? You don't drop out a decent sized log unknowingly. This... Like, you might have a little bit come out and you're like, oh, so must have left a little bit. You don't drop a decent sized log accidentally out of your goddamn anus. I think Josh is onto something here. This dude does shit there in this was, fucking shower. There was already way too much shit yes. in the drain for one turd anyways. And he doesn't have a plunger, a la he just shits in the shower. Mm-hmm. Even Waffle stomps it. He just forgot this one time. He's in a rush. He's like, oh no, my babe's going to be back from her run. I got to get out quick. Gets out, forgets the turd in the, in the shower. He shit shower shaves, but it's just all at the same time. Right. 
I did a, I I approved of her form. On you know mm-hmm. you you wash your body down and then you kind of bend at the shower head and you just let it wash your butt crack a little your little your butt a little sure. more a little extra. Yeah. I disagree. I learned this on Love Island season two. Okay. Yes, squat. Detachable shower head. Well, we don't have that. Well, get one, you dirty ass motherfuckers. <laughs> You squat and then you whoop. Has it ever made you shit in the the bathtub though? I don't have a bathtub. So you're basically giving yourself an enema. In a, a way. Bit. Okay. You're not going as deep as an enema, but you're you know you're getting sure. Just just a little and just a little in there. Okay. Are you ready for the edit? I don't think I am. Since many of you need clarification, here you go. Yes, I did poop before I showered. I thought I was all emptied out. And by decent log, I would say it was the size of my thumb. That is not that, how you describe log. a decent log. Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess I could see where she's coming from when it accidentally <laughs> sneaks out of you. In reference to a normal size shit, that is not a decent log. In reference to shit that sneaks out of you, that is a decent size log. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. It was a decent size for something I didn't feel. Yep. I forgot that we all have different perspectives of what decent looks like. <laughs> After reading the comments, I think what happened is that I gave myself an accidental enema. When I'm washing away, I like to get all the places clean. And I think the hot water jet made the bad things happen. <laughs> I'm a healthy person otherwise, but thank you for your concerns. Uh, this reminds me of a story in college. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, occupied? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, one of my friends who will go nameless uh, as to preserve their anonymity, and I hope that I don't use gendered pronouns to also preserve their <laughs> anonymity. They were going for a run downtown Naperville. There's a really nice uh, uh, walk slash runway right by a river downtown Naperville where I went to school, and they were running, and, you know, as... This person says in their post, when you're running, it sometimes works some stuff in you. And this person decided, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom right now. Pulled over to the side of the road, (laughs) dropped trowel in a bush in downtown Naperville. Just fucking ripped one. Left a more than decent sized log. (laughs) (laughs) It was at least two thumb sizes. Came back, took a shower. And they were telling us this story, and I was just losing my mind. And I was like, like, they were just like, yes, I just came back and took a shower. And I was like, that's it. You're just fine with taking a shit downtown Naperville? (laughs) What the fuck? I feel like the wildest part of it is, like, not being able to wipe. And then imagine, like, this person had, like, a 10-mile run home. Just, like, 10 miles of just poopy butt crack. If I remember correctly, they were, like, only like maybe five blocks away, uh, but it, it was at it, that's when you know it's an emergency. Close enough to where it's like, why didn't you just go home? Sphincter and they were just got like, him. I gotta go right now. <laughs> Have we talked about sphincter on this yet? A little bit. Yes, we did talk about okay. it. Okay, I fucking got him. So the top comment says, "Here's what to do next time: finish cleaning yourself first, then turn up the heat as far as it will go, but try to stay out of the steam." If there's a detachable shower head, use it to just just use it to strategically blast the target wherever is where it, wherever it is softest, and you can break it up. Make sure it's set to narrow narrow beam. <laughs> Work slowly but thoroughly. Wide beam will get you nowhere fast. Whatever solid remains after that, pick up, drop in the toilet, wash hands thoroughly. Never try to do the waffle stomp unless it's already past the point of no return or super soft and you can't do method A for some reason. If you have to stomp the drain, pray there's some chemicals you can use to help dissolve or the pipes are super good. A little Drano helps. Just a little, like half a cup. You don't want to fume up the place. Be safe with it. Don't let it touch your skin. Even a little backsplash. Rinse skin very very thoroughly if you do get hit by some. Keep the shower running. Make it a long one. Don't stop till the whole job is done and has been no longer visible for at least five minutes. Do a soap down foot scrub of whatever shower surfaces came into contact with it. Hold the handle for support and don't trust your feet for traction for even a little bit. Do not hold the lever or spout that can break easy. 
This dude has definitely he's, had this happen. This dude he's shits. Too many times. He shit in his bathtub he's too many times. He's got this experience down pat. Well, I will say, this is all reminiscent of, like, guys have practiced with this a little bit when, like, you go to take a piss in a toilet, and then there's a shit stain on the side. And you just get a little bit of target practice. And you know, a nice, strong, narrow beam works the shit off the porcelain. That's all I could think the whole time he <laughs> was talking about that. I was like, ah, yes, I've been there. You know, when you power wash a toilet. Right. <laughs> So you just aim your piss at the <laughs> shit stain. That's so gross. <laughs> Man, if we could get a get you to write in, confirm that you've done this. Uh, how funny would it be if she opened up the cabinet to find cleaning supplies and there's one labeled like shower poops. <laughs> <laughs> this is for shower poops only. In case of emergency shower poops, use this. Wow. There's just like a bug catcher's net. <laughs> you just like scoop it out. Oh my gosh. When was the first time we talked about bathroom habits in our relationship? Had to be real Long early. No. Well, I don't think it was. I don't think I ever like farted in front of you For until all. like five years in. Eric, I've ever farted in front of you. Oh, all the time. That's not true. Like accidental ones. You no, you out. definitely fart in front of me. Not a lot. He holds it in. He'll hold it in until he I don't fart in front of Christian unless we're working out. He, the workouts just get him fucking going. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we. Because I also didn't fart in front of you for a very long time. It's. I love this story. I mean, it's about farting, which is, you know, it is what it is. But when we first started dating and Christian felt the urge to fart, he would get up, leave the room. Come back like 30 seconds later and be good to go. And I was like, what were you doing? He's like, nothing. Like, okay. <laughs> play cool, play cool. So then the, like, the he did that for a she while. And then. <laughs> Guys are a, so smart and girls are so dumb. <laughs> we got a little bit longer into our relationship. And he'd get lazy. And he would just put his butt outside the door. He would just open the door, fart outside the door with his butt, close the door, come back to bed. Okay. So then he would just go to the other side of the room. <laughs> and then he just stopped getting up altogether. It's the same thing in the car. Like, he used to roll down the window completely, and then it was just halfway. Then it was just, like, cracked, and now it's not at all. And now the window's locked. Now you Heat can... up, baby. Uh-huh. You deal with it. <laughs> uh-huh. A man loves his own fragrance. <laughs> God, I mean, you don't even have stinky farts, but your burps could literally they make, they knock someone out. They're so bad. Eric, have you ever burped in front of you? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one's true, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is if I ever farted in front of you. Yeah. All the time. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, right now, actually. <laughs> no, I haven't yet. That's why it's so hot in here. <laughs> hmm. Well, guys. <laughs> enough shit talk. It's been a doozy. It's been a long one. And by that, I mean it's been a short one. It's been a decent log. <laughs> it's been a decent sized <laughs> podcast, if I do say so myself. Um, if you want to be like Leslie Odom Jr. and be in the room where it happens, email us in at judgespod at gmail dot com. Say, give us your reason why you want to be a guest. We're looking for applicants. Uh, only requirements are that you're funny, but not too funny, because we don't want to be upstaged on our own podcast. Also, email us in any stories or. Either internet stories or ones in your personal life that you think are good enough to share on the pod. Let us judge you. In a good way. Or judge your friends. See, guys, that's how you sneak in a fucking Hamilton reference. They don't even fucking realize it. All my Hamil fans out there will get that. Hamil fans? Wait, what? Is that a real term? You're goddamn right it is. Oh, my God. Ricky, where can they follow us? Oh, you can follow us uh, at Twitter and Instagram. And the handle is at Judgies Pod, and that's J U D G I E S Pod. You spell real good. <laughs> Thanks. You know, while you're at it, go give us a review. If you give us a five star review, we'll read your fucking review. We'll shout no you matter, out. No matter how good or bad it is. But you know, according to Apple's terms of services, it has to be a good review <laughs> if you're going to leave us five stars. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get banned from Apple forever. They'll they'll know, and you're gonna lose social credits by them in uh, the future. When we get all of our brains put into a super AI, you're gonna be in like the low tier. 
<laughs> and we'll be way up, way up high, and like our ivory castle towers. What's it called? An ivory tower? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that word because I'm gonna be so high up in it. <laughs> <laughs> also, share it with your friends. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the story. Just share, share it. Share, share the pod with your friends, your coworkers, your grandma. Grandmas love our pod. It's true. This is true. I didn't have a chance to read it, but we have a four-star review saying, <laughs> this pod's great for grandmas. <laughs> Our pod is great for grandmas and grandpas. It is also good for God. We play it in church. Our pod is an awesome pod. Okay, bye. 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 Uh, pod. Boo. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Toodaloo. Why are you angry? (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not angry. Bye. (laughs) See you later, alligator. (laughs) Bye.